Hey there everyone, my name is Murray. Today we're going to take a look at some... Fortnite. It's terrible, unfortunately. Today we're going to take a look at some Fortnite elements, some intros, stream graphics, uh, templates, even After Effects. I'm going to give you the After Effects project as well. You can use the whole thing yourself. We're going to take a look at how we created it and a bunch of stuff that I've included into the download. Um, it's all free. Use the coupon free at checkout. You don't need to put any of your credit card details or anything like that. But first, before we jump in, intro. Alright, and so here we are after we've downloaded it. Just a quick note, you can get these for free. Use the coupon free at checkout. You don't have to put your credit card details or anything like that. So that's nice. Once you have this folder here, you can see that here's our Fortnite pack. Let's go ahead and open that. And then here you'll see the After Effects composition. You'll see the one minute countdown timer, which will appear over here. A little bit more on that in a second. And then you have the font for the Fortnite. So that's how you get the font for this Fortnite here. I've included that for you so you don't have to go searching around for it. And ignore this. This is just auto save. Um, I've set up for After Effects to save every five minutes. So here we have, once you've opened your After Effects composition, you have these. And uh, one quick note is, I'm going to render separate elements out and I'm going to render this whole thing out so that you don't have to open After Effects if you don't want to. You can just go ahead and click on the video file here, open it here, or you can import it into whatever software or program you have. So you don't have to open After Effects if you don't want to. If this is how you like the look, then you can go ahead and keep it like that. So I'm going to just briefly run through this so you know what's going on. Um, this is not a full tutorial on how to create this from scratch. Maybe I'll do that. I'm not 100% sure, but a lot of these are very straightforward. Um, one thing that is important to note is if I just double click and open this square here, this is the whole thing in the beginning here where it kind of opens up and the, the icicles kind of drip down. Um, you have your expressions here. So this is how I've gotten the scale to kind of bounce so if I just do a RAM preview real quick you can see how it bounces in kind of nice and kind of bounces back and forth a little bit I've got this expression to do that I have another tutorial on that you can check right up here in the top right in the cards there's also a download on my website for those expressions if you just click up over here this is where you can download the expressions use them in your own projects but back to this After Effects composition here what we have is Essentially, uh, I drew a shape, made it into a square, rotated it uh, 45 degrees, and I kind of just adjusted the scale and rotation and, and stuff like that. And I added a fill and kind of added a gradient to it as well. Um, and so that's that main piece in here. So if I just go back into here, you'll see this is kind of the whole thing here. If you just see here, you can see how everything's nice. It kind of pops up. There's the shimmering effect. Um, I'll show you how I got that shimmering effect. What we have here is we've got an adjustment layer right over here. If I go to the effects and controls, I've got the shine plugin. It's a trap code by Red Giant. So make sure you have that. I might just also render this out as a solo thing, but it might not work exactly how I want it if I just render it out without the After Effects composition. So just make sure you've downloaded that plugin if you want this to work completely or if it doesn't work you can just turn it off completely. You don't necessarily need it but it does look nice. Next thing we've got is we've got our timer here which I mentioned earlier. It's a pre-built timer so you don't even have to keyframe anything with it. Um, I've just kind of added a white solid underneath it, uh, gone to the track mat and just added a, a Luma inverted mat to it so that the text kind of cuts through the black, the, excuse me, cuts through the white of the, the layer. So it kind of has this nice border around it. Next, obviously the text is very simple. I've just typed out the text, given it the correct font. So if I go down to your, my character here, and then what I've done was with that text, um, with the battle royale text, or the, excuse me, the winter royale, it's different now because of the new season. I don't even play this game. Um, you have a duplicate of the text. I kind of brought it underneath. I duplicated the square as well. That's the text is on top. Then I had the text underneath the square. I went to the track mats and I did alpha inverted mat. That would show that the, the text doesn't appear on top of the square. I kind of just wanted it on the outside here. And then what I did was I dragged the text 
uh, made sure it was underneath the top text so that this white doesn't appear on top of this. And then with the text animating in, it's the very same technique as I did with the square one I showed you right in here. So very exact te same technique. Uh, with the lights here in the background, I've locked them here so you don't mess with them, but this is what they look like. I essentially just gr created a, or I grabbed a shape, created the triangle shape, gave it a gradient, made it white and the other side black so that it kind of fades out the further it gets away from the, the main piece of light source. Then what I did was I went into the properties and I, I went to the rotation and I just added a wiggle expression. So 0.1,20, that kind of just gave it a nice little rotation kind of made it look a little bit more like the lights kind of doing its thing that's pretty much all that it was all of it is very basic and simple just repeated effects on a whole bunch of different layers it looks kind of complicated i guess but it's not really all that complicated once you really know what's going on but yeah it's pretty neat hope it helps you guys otherwise that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed if you did consider subscribing i am going to be making more in the future you can download it for free just a reminder use the coupon free at checkout you can get the font, get the After Effects projects, you can get the, the stream elements, the intros, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but remember, until next time, keep smiling, keep shooting.